I can bring my chest anywhere and tell you guys that work. They work extremely, 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 extremely important for length retention. Welcome back to my youtube channel welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is angel welcome and on today's video i posted a picture on instagram a few days ago and in that video i mentioned that i was losing tons and tons of hair my hair wasn't growing and it was all linked to a particular corporate okay and in this video i left out a lot of details in that video because it was in a real and just about a minute or so but in this video i'm going to give you guys details and i will tell you guys what i did to curb the situation i am growing back my hair beautifully and i am retaining length beautifully like twice the amount that i was even retaining even before the whole incident happened so if that's what you're interested in keep watching so a quick background when i started my hair growth journey around um february 2020 i learned a lot about hair and i can boldly say i was retaining much length my hair wasn't really growing like an absurd amount but it was i was retaining length which made my hair you know very long very full very very quickly you can just attribute that to focusing on healthier hair strands and protective styling and all of that as of two years ago i realized that my hair growth rate drastically reduced my hair wasn't growing as much as it used to my hair didn't look as healthy anymore it literally wasn't even growing i was barely seeing any amount of growth i had so many setbacks i had to trim my hair multiple times okay it was very abnormal and that period i was constantly falling sick like i was always sick like in nigeria most of us we the illnesses that we we are used to is malaria and it's something that we can easily treat those of us are here it's it's not a big deal you just take malaria drugs for three days and you're good or take injection for about three days and you're fine and i did that and when i got my treatment i would feel sick like the next week i would just maintain the sickness i'll just keep like i was living in sickness okay for like the whole of last year 2023 it was insane at some point i was just thinking about it and i felt like the only change that happened was that i added a lot of weight so i i just attributed it to my weight gain and then i started focusing on losing weight dieting and all of that but it wasn't helping like it was like it was making me even more sick about a year ago i started schooling i'm doing my phd right now and if you already know it's, it's a lot it's a lot of stress i attributed a lot of my hair loss to the stress from school I was just managing my sickness that was just it for a very very long time up until like three months ago somewhere around february i believe when i was just sitting down i was just sad because like i've treated myself so many times why on earth am i still sick growing up i did not used to fall sick like i'm that one person that don't really fall sick and once i'm about to have malaria i understand my body i know the symptoms and i start feeling different um, you know a little different i start malaria treatment immediately so i don't fall sick so it was very very strange for me to constantly be sick especially for a long period of time a few months ago when i was just describing my uh, my symptoms i was like yeah i'm always dizzy i'm always tired my hair is falling out my style was like yeah yeah iron deficient I'm like, hmm? oh it actually makes sense because I, I can't remember the last time i was dizzy up until like recently it just made sense dizziness low iron it made so much sense so i quickly rushed to the pharmacy and then it was confirmed that i was um, very very deficient in iron and then immediately i was placed on certain iron supplements i was placed on two iron supplements the first one failed i don't know if it failed or i don't know my body just didn't adapt more there was no much difference so the, the drugs was changed the second time and then after the second drug i was feeling so much better so thirdly they gave me this drug it's so affordable it's like one one um 1500 naira please don't go and start selling any medicine no conduct consult your doctor first or your pharmacist first before consuming any kind of medicine please so i've been taking this for a while now and you guys hey i feel so good it's like i feel so so much so much so much better so that's the first thing first step figure out what is wrong with you if it is stress Try to limit stress since then i've also started taking my multivitamin you know intake very very seriously now i take vitamin c supplements i also take vitamin e supplements i take evening primrose oil as well i just I wanted to introduce zinc to my little supplement routine but the zinc i bought was about 100 um, ml mg 100 mg and according to my research you're not supposed to take more than 50 
mg per capsule and the one i got is 100 mg so i'm not really sure if i should take that yet i will have to confirm but basically all you can get you know one of those multivitamin um supplement that does the best it covers literally everything so take your vitamin seriously take your body very very seriously that's the first step in addition to taking my supplements and take getting back my hair growth um rate to the normal level remember i, I mentioned that my hair growth even before this whole incident was about half an inch okay i don't think i mentioned that in this video but <clears throat> it was about half an inch a month no it was below half an inch a month trust me you know because i kept measuring it out you know when you just turn natural you are always obsessed with the um tape that's what i was so i i'm very sure my hair growth rate was just slightly below half an inch a month sometime between um april and may i changed my routine like my entire lifestyle routine especially to my hair and i recorded over an inch and I, I was really scared of mentioning it or showing it to people because I was telling myself that people would think I'm lying but I'm just going to let you guys know it was over an inch so that's like almost tripling the normal amount of hair growth that I used to have before now and I'm going to tell you guys some things that I, I do now that has completely changed the game for me the first major change that I've made is introducing green tea to my daily routine and I'm not talking about one cup of green tea. I'm not talking about two cups of green tea. I'm not talking about three cups of tea. Okay, I'm talking about about five. I don't know. Let me. I'll do the calculation with you guys. Should I show you guys the teas like this? Let me show you guys. Oh, I forgot to mention. I literally was trying to sleep for like the past two hours, and I decided to just get off my bed and just do this video. So if my makeup looks rugged or I look tired, I am. In the morning, the first thing I take is this green tea with ginger and garlic. It's green tea, ginger and garlic in this. So I usually take this with a little cup of my apple cider vinegar with this, just the cup, just a little, into my tea and that's what I take in the morning. I don't really like the smell that the, that the garlic um, leaves in your mouth, it's very disgusting. So I like to take this very early in the morning and after I take this I'll brush my teeth and begin my day. What follows up is usually my Moringa tea. I usually take this after breakfast. I don't have the carton, I just remove this. But yeah, I take this next, I take a cup of Moringa tea next then usually at this point i'm like super full and to be honest after taking these two teas and my breakfast i'm usually good for like till evening my phone space got filled up you guys i desperately need a camera like i'm so annoyed anyway moving on throughout the day in no particular order i take a cup of this green tea with turmeric green tea with lemon and ginger and a cup of just straight up green tea recently i just introduced um peppermint tea peppermint my brother is always mocking me i don't know how to pronounce peppermint but peppermint i'm gonna say peppermint <laughs> peppermint tea into my routine this is lemongrass and mint and this is just pure lemon um pure peppermint tea i usually take this in at night just before i go to bed because it's so refreshing now i'm not so consistent to be honest but then when i learned that um, green teas are great dht blockers that means they reduce excessive shedding where you apply them or you know when they're working in your body i'm like mm, it's good to introduce this to my routine plus it drastically suppresses my appetite so no more unnecessary sugar cravings while i take my green tea so that's it about the tea every now and then i also try to do green tea rinse at least once a month because like i said they are great dht blockers they prevent your hair from excessive shedding like i said i lost so much hair i lost crazy amount of hair in just one month and i realized that because i put my hair in a protective style for about, for about three weeks so prior to that i don't i didn't really used to do a lot of long-term protective styles so i know that i would experience excessive shedding but i just don't used to see them all together at once like i did then that's when i realized that okay there's a lot that like something has to be done because i was consistently sick and i i just had i had had it at that point i was really sick of it literally <laughs> next this i believe played a massive 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 role in multiplying my hair growth rate and that is scalp massages you guys usually I, I like i don't like scalp massages i feel like you need to take your time to do it and i'm not a patient person i don't like scalp massage or i do not like scalp massage until i joined this girl dukia main her um hair growth challenge basically what we did in that challenge for about 25 days we just massage our scalp every single evening so i did that and you guys i feel like that's what contributed massively to the hair 
gross remember this green tea i was taking it to just you know reduce my hair shedding my hair wasn't breaking because my hair my hair length was kind of healthy kind of but it wasn't really massively breaking most of the hair that i lost were like long strands of hair with the white bulb and my hair wasn't growing <clears throat> but you see this scalp massage i can't i can beat my chest anywhere and tell you guys that scalp massages work they work because what plus other girls in the group chats we did a lens check before we started the challenge i did lens check after and i saw people's hair growth like it was massive it was there was a lot going on so i am sure that scalp massages work so i know that people frown against you know applying oil to your scalp daily but we're applying oil to our scalp daily but like very very tiny amounts very very little amount and it worked so i don't know do me that information as you please okay but yeah also when i was watching a video i saw a girl i think her name is shara sharati banks or something like that i'll put her name here she mentioned that she saw a video of some is she the one i don't know somebody just said that they saw a video of a man talking about not just scalp massaging with the tip of the finger but you should move your scalp you guys this is so relaxing you will be so calm see just like three seconds you'll be so calm like just move your scalp ah you guys scalp massages are the best <laughs> oh they'll make you feel so good and they'll make your hair grow if you're not doing scalp massages please do it and not just doing this and please be gentle a lot of you people are very funny you guys are like yeah, your hair, your scalp will hurt. But if you're moving your scalp, you don't do this in the morning when you're going to work because you will sleep at work. Do it at night so you can just breathe and just sleep. And then you take your mint tea. Oh, you have a good sleep. You will have. Those of you that have insomnia, try this. The, you, your problem now will be staying awake. I'm not even kidding. Another thing I did was to adjust my diet. You guys, I did not do any strict diet, no. I was not crazy about my diet because getting fresh food in Nigeria is kind of hard. At least where I stay, it's pretty hard and inflation, everything is expensive. But I just try as much as possible to include foods that are rich in fiber and iron to my routine. To be honest, what I just found that was easier for me to you know, grab is vegetables because we, I have a little farm at the back of my house where, I, where there are vegetables planted there so i just make sure i include that to my food at least every once every single day i can take like multiple i just add a bunch of greens into my um, food as much as possible and there's this particular plant i don't know the name i'll put a picture somewhere i don't know the name but i heard that it's very very good like it has a lot of iron and like fiber and stuff like that it's good to produce blood and all this stuff so i i i want to start taking shots of that thing because to be honest because now i'm like getting better i'm no longer into the whole being strict thing so i don't really focus on taking it a lot these days but i I, feel, I think if i just blend it and just keep it in a container i can just take shots every day and i think i'll be good so that's what i will introduce very very soon and you can honestly just google other types of i heard that avocado you know proteins are also very good um like eggs and some other things chickens and stuff they're really good so just do your research to be honest i'm not the one to tell you i'm not a nutritionist i do not know like i said my diet was not strict okay it was not strict i just try to just have a good balance you know of nutrients in my dish every day and another thing is to stay hydrated hey that one you're still rolling your eyes your pee is almost orange and you are rolling your eyes you don't want to drink water i know you people say oh everybody keeps saying water drink, drink. don't drink water now let me tell you, your hair is uh, it's not your, your body's priority. So it's just the remaining nutrients that is in your body that your hair that does get pushed to your hair and to your nails and stuff. So if you're not hydrated in your body, you will, your scalp will not be able to produce very nice, beautiful long hair or very nice hydrated hair. I don't know, but consume a lot of water plus it makes you feel good. You guys, trust me, it makes you feel good. I tried to take this. So that's another way to help yourself get a cute water bottle trust me you 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 drink water you're gonna drink water okay 
I try to drink, drink a whole one of these every day. Sometimes I don't. Let me just be honest. But at least I try. You get consume a lot of water. Stay hydrated. Oh, and this is extremely, 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 extremely important for length retention, which is something I stopped doing for a long time, which is protective styling long-term protective styling because i started creating hairstyle videos on on instagram i was growing my account and i was loving it so i i didn't really prioritize my hair growth that my hair was barely in any protective style just like once or twice a year and that was like great whenever i'm traveling but i decided to do a protective style um the last month and i noticed that i retained so much length which is something i'm going to be doing more you can see i'm currently on a protective style which is mini braids well by the way we're doing a three months mini braids challenge if you I know our way. Check out my previous video and let's let's grow our hair together. Okay, this is something I will continue to do. A lot of this routine that I, I am putting out and I'm telling you guys are the things I will keep doing during the, the length of the hair growth challenge and we we'll record a lot of growth. I am tired of talking. I also started doing monthly deep conditioning treatments. I remember that I used to do this before when I just turned natural newly. My hair really likes to stay hydrated, my hair loves deep conditioners so i started um i, I was doing more, uh, weekly deep conditioning treatments which is something i'm going to keep doing during the course of three months hair growth challenge i uh, by the way there are so many beautiful ladies about 50 of us are doing this challenge together so just join us okay subscribe and then let us do this together i know i have a little group chat i may not be able to add anybody else into the group chat because we've gone far but I, you guys are an entire new community we can do our hair together just subscribe and put a soil mini braid. I will be posting my routine weekly. Maybe not every single week, but I'll be posting my routine, posting new things I've learned and stuff like that. And then you guys, hopefully, you guys can follow me. I also really like this protective style because it retains moisture much longer and it doesn't get tangled, it doesn't get easily matted as twist as twist would. You know, deep conditioning my hair in mini braids, it doesn't make it tangle. Unlike twist, my my ends at this point I would have started retwisting a couple of um twists but with my braids they still they stay intact throughout the month and another very very important thing that at this point you should know if you don't know i don't know maybe we should flood you is to make sure your hair is moisturized extremely important summer is coming to you guys in other countries in nigeria it is still raining but the weather is still extremely dry because our sun hey <laughs> our sun <laughs> oh i don't know something's happening with earth okay something is happening climate change is real is real and it's we're seeing it so the weather is really very very hot and it steals a lot of moisture from our hair so you need to replenish your moisture and because i do my i do weekly deep conditioning treatments i don't really need to moisturize my hair much i just moisturize re-moisturize my hair midweek like I, I usually do my deep conditioning treatments on fridays then by tuesday or wednesday i'll re-moisturize and that's it to next friday when i'll do my functioning treatments but take note that i do not shampoo my hair every single week no 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 i just apply deep conditioner just let warm water run down my hair to just reduce dirt debris and just reduce oils and stuff and products for my hair then i apply the deep conditioners to my hair strand apply a little bit of oil to the ends and that's it let it sit for the required amount of time on the deep conditioner container and then i rinse it off then i re-moisturize my hair apply my oil my leave-in conditioner my butter and oil and I apply oil to my scalp and I massage. That's it. I only shampoo my hair once every single month. Okay. Throughout the length of this protective style, all these um, mini growth challenge, we'll be doing our wash day. Or uh, I'll be doing and myself and you. If you're interested, I don't know. Better be interested. Let's grow our hair together, you guys. Let's grow our hair together, okay? Oh, mind you, when I retained that much length, when I mentioned earlier, I was on mini braids. So yeah, I wanted to say something, but I've forgotten. And we are moving on. Another thing I started doing is to pray for my hair. Why is it that we're praying whenever we have cancer and God answers a lot of our prayers, but we're not praying for our hair? The hair growth rate is slow. Who else to complain to than the manufacturer? I started praying for my hair and actively. What I want to start doing now is that whenever I do my um, scalp massage, I'll just say short prayer for about five minutes for my hair while massaging my scalp. I think that's a good one. I think that's what I'll start doing. Hopefully, I, I, I'll be consistent. So in all, avoid stress. Even before now, I have always known that whenever I am stressed out, my hair would fall off. My shedding used to be massive whenever I am very stressed. So stay off, try to lay off stress a bit. Scalp massages help a lot with stress and tension. Yeah, I, I noticed that there was a, I usually have like very tight tension at the, at the crown of my head. 
but since i started doing scalp massage it like it has drastically reduced and i feel so much better i feel so good before the tension right it was so bad that whenever i want to sleep i would have to press my hair like my head or my the middle of my scalp against my bed frame so that i can sleep well because i don't know it was so bad but right now i'm good like i said your problem will no longer to fall asleep but to try and stay awake so do your scalp massages as much as you can sleep well oh my god you need to sleep well stop staying awake unnecessarily drop your phone drop your phone so what are addicted to our phone i'm talking to myself as well but i'm trying right drop your phones once it's 10 p.m i don't know those of you that used to go, go outside and, and, and by 10 why are you outside stay in your house stay in your house catch enough sleep rest it is very very important catch even though you are unable to sleep i know some people have like work at night and stuff you can sleep within the day please sleep well your body needs to rest like i said your hair is not a priority to your body so if your body is forcing itself to work the last thing is thinking about is your hair so please try to get as much sleep as possible so you do not lose hair on your head i said lay off stress those of you that are in relationships that are stressing you break up you have prayed to god god give me a sign this is your sign that toxic boy break up with him please stop stressing yourself why is that person stealing your hair please breathe enter like stealing your breath let it go okay relax lastly be active to be honest i'm not <laughs> i'm not active i'm not active at all i used to gym but man, there was a lot of drama surrounding the gym so i had to stop going for a while and now my next option is quite expensive so but just be active okay take walks i want to start taking prayer walks hopefully i do that and i'm consistent with that as that's a very good way to be active walks and stuff exercise and all of that so yeah that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope it was helpful please let me know if it was helpful and please give this video a thumbs up please you guys please i need engagement in my page okay i'm shamelessly begging yeah okay so yeah that's all i hope to see you in my next video please subscribe if you haven't yet and then join me in my mini breast challenge and let us go ahead together okay bye